Alright everybody, what is up? My name is King Spinach, and welcome back to my Tomb Raider series. Now, unfortunately, uh, I went through, I recorded a couple extra hours of footage. I was all like, hey, yeah, and I went back, and I looked at it, and I was editing it all, and it turns out that it picked up my computer mic instead of my actual microphone, so my voice was really, really crappy, and it had, like, annoying background noise, and I don't want you guys to have to hear that. And, uh, as most of you guys already knew, I did have a secondary save file already created where, um, I just, I was going through and picking up all the collectibles in the game, so, uh, I, I hadn't gone any further than where we were before, so, um, I was just like, oh, thank god I made that, um, and now it's not really, uh, well, I guess for the next few episodes uh it won't really be a uh, discovering thing more than um i know what's going to happen i'm gonna leave out as many spoilers as i can i'm not going to skip any cutscenes or anything i still want the experience to be as enjoyable as it can be for you guys um some pretty awesome uh shit happened though so uh we're gonna i'm just we're just gonna keep playing and um this way i guess like the puzzles and stuff will go faster uh, it'll definitely be more of a walkthrough guide. I can show you where a few collectibles are if I remember correctly. Hopefully, um, I remember where they are. I found quite a few, actually. I leveled up a bit, too. I actually went through a lot of progression. Um, in the slave slots, it tells you the progression that you had. And I went from, like, 7% to 30%. So, um, oh, we did do a lot. But... We're all good right now. Roth. Roth, I'm coming! Thank God you're alive. Oh, God's got nothing to do with it. It's good to see you two go. Sorry, they did a real number on your leg. Well, no, it looks worse than it is. Uh, have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. But you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Don't do this to me, you northern bastard. All right, and off we go. Um, there isn't much that you can do in this area, uh, collectible-wise or anything. Um, there are a couple challenges. I think I've only found one challenge in this area so far. Um, just like the last area where we had to shoot the five lanterns, um, we have to light up ten of these statues. Uh, I think this is the only one in our current vicinity. Uh, it's the only one that I could find, at least. Oh, I forgot. You can't climb up that. But, uh, yeah, there's some pretty... I think they, they're they doing a good job with this. Uh, so far, all the story that I went through... Come on, Lara, get up there. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, got a lot new uh, gameplay mechanics in. Uh, learned about uh, quite a few. So, just gonna keep going here. Kamakura period. Um, and I guess, like, I feel like uh, a great benefit of 
me already playing through all of this is that uh, it's definitely going to be a much faster walkthrough. It's not going to be uh, like, a, oh, what do I do next kind of let's play thing, which it sort of was in my recording. It took a, a while for me to figure out a few of the puzzles, um, but now I know what to do, so I think it'll all be good. I feel like that'll just make it a little bit more entertaining, less uh, nonsense, more uh, action, more story. Uh, hell, in one hour, we might even get farther than I did in two hours. Uh, I actually doubt that, but we might, we'll probably go pretty far in an hour. Farther than I did in one hour, definitely. Now that I know what I'm doing. Oh, wolves. Wolves everywhere. Just want a pack. That's all. Just <laughs> grab it, grab it. Got it. Okay. Got to get this back to Roth. I'm glad we have a skill point. I'm gonna use that. That's gonna be awesome. Wolfie! Oh god. Damn, that, that wolf meant business, too. And that thing's huge. It's like the size of Lara. That is a huge freaking wolf. But see, now I know that. Now I know the quick time events. I think that was actually the only one that I encountered. Oh, wow, that's weird. No, no, no. Why, did, why didn't she grab the rope? All right, I couldn't have predicted that. Uh, I wanted her to grab the rope, but... um. Well, whatever. <laughs> Grab the rope, Lara. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Oh, wow. So she just dies like that. Alright, my bad, guys. My bad. I'm just trying to... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to little... Sort of rush through this. I want to get all this out for you guys as fast as I can. But uh, I shouldn't be rushing through that. I apologize. Here, go. Here, go. Go. Okay. Wait a minute. This might be faster, actually. Going down the waterfall. Might be faster. Yeah. young lady like you learn to do a thing like that <laughs> late shift at the nine bells <laughs> wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle hey you got it nice work so i assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> you can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't 
don't think I'm that kind of craft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, let's hope I'm a fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura. Alrighty then. Now we have a climbing axe, which is extremely useful. And what we're gonna do is, um, actually what I did when I played through this first time, I found this uh, optional tomb. And uh, we got some pretty cool stuff in it, so might as well raid it, right? No. But first, let's cash in that skill point we got here. Thank God for us training. All those treks, all those climbs. It's as if you've been preparing me for something like this all along. It's clear that there are people living here, and they're organized. They're killing and recruiting. Why? It's like some kind of cult. They want. What they for? All right, we're gonna take up extra ammunition just because that is gonna help us in the long run. Uh, I did not run out of ammunition per se, but I I did feel like um, I I know that that skill is gonna come in handy. Look at her go with this climbing axe, man. Dang. Lara is very, very good with the climbing axe. She does a good job traversing the environment. Her interaction with the environment is very well done in this game, actually. And here's a secret tomb right in here. Um, oh, I forgot about this collectible. GPS cache, one out of 15. Yeah, there's this mountain village hub area um, is very big. And um, I remember you guys uh, were probably there when uh, we got this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys were there um, in the last sort of hub area. There was this one little uh, table type thing that we found that uh, told us all of the uh, areas where all the like relics and all the hidden collectible items were found and um, that is that was really helpful it tells you all the areas all the all the collectibles rather and uh, that was for that central sort of hub area in that um, part of the map uh, this mountain village area is another sort of central hub I guess you could call it and uh, that's what, it's just how um, the game is like, I guess, not paced, but is broken up into different sections. They don't have specific uh, levels, but the hubs are um, how you uh, sort of base finding your collectibles on. If you can find all the collectibles and complete all the challenges, for each um, hub, then I guess you're gonna 100% the game, and I think that that's that's a pretty uh, decent idea for um, making sure that the game is. That's how they sectioned off the game. I think they did a good job with that. So what you guys are gonna want to do is gonna jump off, go over there, light your torch, light this stuff on fire, then push the other cage off so you can jump onto this one and then climb the axe. Uh, it took me a couple minutes to figure that one out the other time. And I think here is where uh, the game sort of... Oh, wait. Uh, I think here is where the game sort of loses its replayability in the tombs and the puzzles and stuff. Unless you come back to them from, like, after a while. Uh, it's not gonna be very uh, different, you know. The puzzles are very easy, I guess, uh, we could say. So, it's just, you know, that's... I guess that's how, that's how the cookie crumbles. But yeah, we found another one of those um, maps, right? Oh, maybe we can... Can't we do this thing here? Do we have a skill point? We do have a skill point. That's perfect. We're just getting a bunch of skills right now at the moment. Do we need that? We don't need that yet. Um, 
Let's look in the hunter upgrade still. There, we can pick up this one. Uh, the charging shots up for a longer time is definitely very helpful. Hold on, wait, can I upgrade our pistol? 